Come here. Back up a little. Maybe a homo. Oh. Daddy Ferry Road is where we have found a lot of um, our abused dogs. Um, dogs that have been involved in uh, dog fighting. Dogs that were used as uh, bait dogs. Um, and we've also uh, seen a lot of dead dogs um, down there, whether they had been shot or they were sick and the owner, instead of taking them to a vet or someone who can, can take care of the dog, they just dump it on the side of the road and then it dies from its, from its illnesses. I would say that the Dowdy Ferry area, in my opinion, is is one of the worst, just because it seems like uh, it seems like a, a, a source of dog fighting um, is is dumping their unwanted dogs in this area because they all seem to have some sort of related issue with you know being a bait dog or being abused or something like that. They're not just lost dogs. Apparently, Lady lived uh, in the streets for over eight months uh, or more, um, and she stayed at this one little place next to a Dollar Tree down in Southeast Dallas, and all kinds of people would come to feed her every day, all day. I mean, people would bring over 15 pounds of food a day for this dog, and she kind of got comfortable living there, but she was still afraid of people this whole time. During this whole eight months, she would never come up to a person or let, let anyone touch her. Marina and myself actually tried to trap her, we tried to get her on a leash, we tried all kinds of things um, to get this dog into vetting and to get her a home, um, but we were having no luck. You know, street dogs who've been out and didn't have any human interaction for so long, you know, things are different with them, you kind of have to earn their trust and spend time with them. Like, unfortunately, there's no magic trick to make them come to you. She's such a sweet dog. You know, Rhonda, um, she comes over when she gets off of work. She'll come over and sit with her. Yeah, I heard. She's gotten where she'll touch her. That's good. The dogs come up twice when Rhonda has left. The dog has chased after her. So I've gotten her to where she would come up to me, but just briefly. And so last night when she did and John was in the parking lot, giving me motivation, I just reached and grabbed her and, and just held on. This lady was in tears because she's been seeing this dog every day outside in the conditions for eight months. And, um, you know, all it took was a little bit of confidence for her to say, you know what, I'm just going to be confident and put the leash right on and like it's what I'm supposed to do, you know. And it was really emotional for her um, and it was really, it was really cool uh, witnessing that happen, you know. We took her to the vet uh, right afterwards. Our vet is uh, Mercy Animal Clinic with Dr. Hamlin. That's in uh, North Garland. Dr. Hamlin is, is definitely one of the best vets in the DFW because he offers a special discount rate for rescue groups. Um, and he, he really understands the importance of helping out rescue groups and giving them a, a special rate so they can be successful in getting these dogs homes. Um, one of the uh, biggest setbacks in, in getting these dogs off the street for a lot of rescue groups is that it costs so much money to get them vaccinated. You know, if they have any health issues, they have to raise money for them and stuff like that. So uh, Dr. Hamlin at, at Mercy Animal Clinic has been really beneficial to the dogs and to our rescue group. She was actually clear of everything. Uh, we got everything set up for the next week. She got her spay. Um, she got all of her vaccines and everything. So surprisingly, she, she was healthy. She's, she'd been on the street for possibly over a year, um, and somehow she was, you know, she didn't have anything wrong with her. Uh, we took Lady to Via's Laundromat, um, which is a uh, grooming facility where you can actually take your dog um, to have a professional groomer 
uh, groom your dog, or you can uh, pay a low cost fee to use their facilities and groom your dog yourself. Um, so we actually pay to have the professional groomer, groom lady, because she had been out on the street for so long. Since she just had her vaccination today, so I can't have her like hanging out with our dogs. I see. She had a little bit of matting, so we wanted to make sure that was taken care of. Um, she got a real good bath, uh, made sure that you know her fleas were taken care of. She had a little bit of fleas, she was living on the street for a while. Um, but overall, she didn't have any skin issues or anything like that. Um, so yeah, Via's, Via's Laundromat is a really cool place. It's really affordable, and they love working with rescue groups as well. Um, so really, we're really fortunate um, that we were able to take Lady there, and, and they were able to help us out with that. <laughs> this group uh, is actually a, um, it's mainly a Facebook networking page. Um, and Marina Tereshevska is basically the leader of the group. She goes out to Southeast Dallas and she gets these dogs off the street. She finds fosters on Facebook. The great things about Marina's page is that, um, you know, she's such a new uh, person to rescue here in the Dallas area, but she has like the most support. Um, and it's because she's able to go out there and, you know, build relationships with these dogs. And, you know, she's not afraid to get, you know, down and dirty, walking through the forest, looking for these dogs. He's kind of the voice of reason, you know, sometimes when I go, want to go into the middle of the woods and at like 3 a.m. he would be the one to say no or maybe at least try to join me. John is always available and he's been very good about being there when I really need him. Hi, Bob. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. That came with the, that came with the bed. <laughs> oh, that's super Really, just, she's so lazy. She won't even get out of her bed to eat. <laughs> Lady is doing really well. She's progressing. Um, there's actually a few other dogs uh, where she's living now, and that has helped her come out of her shell. She's been really fearful of other people, um, but being at a home that's calm and has a few other dogs, and it's it's a really uh, well balanced environment. Um, this has given her freedom to kind of uh, be herself and and kind of get to know the human world on her own terms and on her own pace. Um, and I actually do have an appointment with her next week so we can try to socialize her a little bit more, get her walking on the leash and stuff like that. But she's making a lot of progress. Oh, there's other dogs living out here. So we'll just dump our dog too, and it'll live happily ever after out in the street in its pack in a forest, but that's not the case, you know. It's, this isn't the wild, this is Dallas. And there's always dogs down there. Why this is happening. This is definitely a people problem. 